super excited because I'm driving back to Reinhardt's to go and pick up the pigeons that I bought. A hundred of them, can you imagine? I've been wanting those pigeons since I first went to Reinhardt's but they weren't for sale and then because I knew he was clearing the entire atelier yesterday I asked if he would consider selling them and he said he would only sell them to me knowing that they were coming to La Lande. So this is wonderful, let's go get the pigeons. He lives in such a perfect spot, it's always like stepping into a fairy tale. Oh dear, now that I'm here, I think I've spotted some festoon blinds that would look amazing at Lalande as well. I better get those. And what about this strange postcard spinner? Could be good somewhere. Here are all of my lovely pigeons individually wrapped and Reinhardt specially chose pretty fabrics to wrap them so that I could make them into a patchwork or use them in some way in the future. Oh, beautiful weather at the moment. We're all out sunning ourselves. The whole family. And I'm busy unpacking all the treasures that I got at Reinhardt's. And I did buy the old postcard spinner. It's just in two pieces here at the moment. I've moved it in. It's a really old one. And strange and crazy though I may sound, I think it's going to be really nice for either displaying art, possibly tiny limited edition photos, or for selling them if I ever make a little shop here one day, which I think would be a really fun thing to do. Every single one of the pigeon prints is different. They're each a different species of pigeon. Look at them, they're glorious. And this is the book that they were all taken from. They're from a German publisher and probably date from the late 19th or early 20th century. And here's the original table of contents of the book, which shows all 100 of the different pigeon species shown within it. Soon all of which will be on my wall. My pigeons have come home to roost. Ah, intellectual bespectacled pigeons. Oh, these gentlemen are rather puffed up with pride. I think I found the coy bells of the group. These are much more sedate pigeons. A far more sensible sort of pigeon. I've got the impression they slightly turn their nose up at all the fancy ones. And I got this really cool bobbly jumper, which for some inexplicable reason, I fell madly in love with. I think because it was quite cold and this looked lovely and warm and snuggly. And I would show you the other clothes on me, but if I'm honest, it's just too cold here to be changing into lots of different outfits. I bought this beautiful bright yellow raw silk escada skirt. I think it was two euros. And obviously I had to get the zip skirt. I don't think any woman's wardrobe is complete without one. And most excitingly, because I regretted not buying it last time, I bought the pink dress that I wore in the catwalk show of Reinhardt's clothes. I think it's fair to say that this is a dress that looks better on than off. Than a pair of mint green, hilariously high-waisted trousers and this really amazing jumper made with a metallic yarn, which reminds me quite a lot of Missoni. And lovely silken things like this vintage camisole and a lovely soft grey silk top. But maybe most excitingly, I got this late 19th century dressmaker's dummy which I absolutely adore and Reinhardt actually gave me the little jacket for her to wear there's no way I could ever wear it it's very damaged and I'll have to do a lot of repair work but it's so beautiful the skirt is also an original from that period and look at the beautiful flounces along the bottom he also gave me some lovely vintage feather boas to add to her look. I'm having a lovely peaceful afternoon reading in the dining room which I very rarely get the chance to do but the stopping has made me realise that there's a weird humming noise in this room. And I think it must be the heating. So now I think I've got to stop the lovely peaceful reading and try to bleed the radiators. Oh, but look what Natty has just handed to me. This is what Natty considers a light afternoon snack. Oh, it looks so delicious and I'm in a quandary. Do I eat this first? Do I bleed the radiator first? Wow, that is seriously amazing. Okay, I allowed myself two little bites for strength and now I'm going to go and do the radiator and then I've got this to look forward to. I'm going to have to go all the way up to the attic because the highest radiator point in this chateau is the towel rail in the attic tower bathroom. I love the way our granite stairs continue all the way up to the attic. See things get a little less tidy up here. 
is the pretty adorable towel bathroom. And there is the towel rail. Let's see if there's any air in the system. I climbed up onto the bath twice and dropped the phone twice. We're ready to begin. Oh, I hear air. Oh, that's such a satisfying sound. Well, that wasn't very much. Dracked, there was air, but almost nothing. That is not the source of our problem. Why does it always turn into a bigger job? It's not the one on the stairs. Do you have any idea how many radiators there are in this house? 20 radiators checked so far and they're all fine. I'm beginning to think there are too many radiators in this house. Hmm, it is my expert opinion that it's not in any of the radiators, so the problem must be in the underfloor heating. And I think I can probably only blow that air bubble out with added pressure. There's the pressure gauge. Let's try and push that up a bit. Okay, I've taken that to dangerously high levels. I hope that will deal with the problem. I'd really rather be eating tortilla right now. Well, it's still buzzing but I just ate the tortilla and now I poured myself a whiskey and I'm about to watch the last episode that we're in in Escape to the Chateau DIY. So I think I'm just going to let the heating go. Oh dear, the spinning wheel of death. It's going to be one of those afternoons, but at least I'm going to Dana's for dinner. Natty, can you show us what you made for dessert? Yes, it, it should be a banana uh, mousse. Mousse? But uh, I was with the wrong cream, so this I just is better than mousse. something. But Let's it was see. quite hair raising, Natty <laughs> carrying this on the windiest country road imaginable to get here. Thank you so with much, it. it looks lovely. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have lots of dessert tonight. <laughs> huh? okay. Yes. Oh, show me. This is the leftover of Alphonse's birthday cake. Whoa, was he 40? You were 40. <laughs> you don't say that. <laughs> Wow, you're 40, like... You're catching up, Arnold. <laughs> Arnold, can I tell you something? 40s are the best decade so far. Yes, That's I'm awesome. There. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Show me everything. What are oh we going to eat? So, you are amazing, Dana. It's going to be like this. Oh, champagne. Oh my goodness, I'm happy. <laughs> Mini, um, uh, croque, 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 croque monsieur. Uh, you got sushi. You've got endive with caviar d'aubergine and uh, dry meat. Yeah. These are the dips, um, cucumber, aubergine with uh, truite fumée and Ooh. cheese. Oh, how wonderful. This is uh, with cheese and um, uh, epinards, uh, spinach. Got some champagne as well. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and they are preparing here another thing. These, these you have potatoes? No, but this, it's this. Oh, this, ooh. Oh. <laughs> Should you taste it now or is it for your dessert? Mm. <laughs> Would you wait until your dessert? Okay. Here you have mushrooms and, and garlic bread. Are you happy? I love you, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so touched. <laughs> if there is only food for you. Yeah, hey, yeah, I'm happy. I'll cook you every day. It just keeps coming. Yes. Every time I look up, there's more food on the table. <laughs> there's a song. I keep coming. I, I keep coming. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. And many wishes. My hair, I'm in the middle of curling it, but I have to show you this. I was about to tackle the massive pile of washing that I've got because of everything I bought at Reinhardt's, and look what I found in it. Huge pile of washing to be done. Oh, look, it looks a bit prickly. What could that be? I can't believe you're sleeping on my clothes now. Roxette. Michael named the hedgehog Roxette. <laughs> Quite a trendy jacket there. A bit of an 80s vibe. Seriously, who gets an infestation of hedgehogs? And now I definitely am going to have to wash those clothes because goodness knows what little friends he's harboring. He's back. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> and Hello. Wendy, Wendy hiding over there. <laughs> the last time we were here, 
we did a few photographs with Steph. <laughs> uh, so uh, we, we're coming back and we've got all sorts of fun things to plan about our photo festival. Yes. And we have a little box of treasures for you. Oh, I okay. love treasures. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, look how beautifully wrapped that is. Oh, how beautiful. That's just beautiful. You may want to. Oh. <laughs> As much as I can show of those, they are my head. <laughs> but these are the amazing nude photos that Renee took of me. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a joy, obviously. <laughs> okay, so now also for our photo festival. Oh, Photo de Femme presents Seeing Women. It's a fun start, isn't it? Oh, I'm so excited. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what we're cooking up? Well, um, we're tremendously excited because we're going to be doing an amazing photo festival both here with you, Steph, and with Julia and the Chateau Sisters about two hours south of here. We are going to be putting on a photo festival all about images of women. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed my photo shoot. I didn't think I would. I thought I'd be really shy and that I wouldn't like it, but it was very easy. You made me feel completely comfortable, and now I have these glorious photos they are not quite ready to show to the world, but that's the whole point. If people want to come here and have photos taken of themselves, this weekend will be the perfect opportunity to do that because Renee is saying that she will take photos of anyone staying here that weekend. And also, if you have photos of women that you would like to enter, then please contact me as well. I'll put all of the details below. Uh, so just have a look at the blurb below the vlog and there'll be details on how to contact either to book a room to take part or to put an entry in for photos of your own work to be shown in the exhibition, which will be completely free to the public. And we have different categories to highlight all the different things that we so revere about women. So what's the different categories? So our categories, wild or sauvage. Oh, <laughs> sauvage. <laughs> Gross, uh, grossieux. Grace, that'll be mummy. And uh, freedom, liberté, equality, egalité, and sisterhood or fraternité. So there's something for every photographer out there. The whole idea is that this is showcasing the different aspects to being a woman. It's going to be a lot of fun. So come play in a couple of chateaux and just have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> Well, roll on June, I say. Anyone out there who is interested in coming to Lalande, having an amazing photo shoot with Renee, then contact me because I've blocked the chateau for that weekend so we can have a huge party, a big dinner together, fun photo shoots during the day, which will be private. And I really want to say, I think this is very, very important. No woman out there should feel that age is a barrier for joining this at all. I think that Renee is doing a very good job of working on mummy and persuading her to have her photos taken. It's never too late to celebrate the body that you're born in. And if you don't want to have nude photos taken, then just come along and have photos taken in some of our beautiful, whimsical costumes. The 19th to the 21st of June. Come and join us. It's going to be the party to end all parties at La Land. It's Natty's last morning and I really hate the fact that she's leaving. The only good thing is that we are modelling our new matching nighties from Reinhardt's last week. Oh, we needed these nighties, didn't we? Yes, of course. Are you going to take yours with you? No, I think I will, I will leave this here to use it every time I come back to the chateau. I'm very happy about this. We look like twins. Yes, thank goodness <laughs> we went to that place. Okay, do you, have we got time for a final cup of tea? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, the last cup of tea. This is awful. So when are you coming back? Uh, um, in the middle of the next year. Yeah. Oh, could be. Promise? Yeah. I will be here. <laughs> I will be here again. I'm going to miss you. Me too. <laughs> Just a little bit of luggage. A little bit. I think I came with the size of luggage. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Don't forget your other bits and pieces. And, and uh, the most important most one. Most important one. Hey. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. See you next time. I've decided to console myself after Natty's left by coming to one of my favorite boulangeries to get that incredible brioche. That's bound to help. 
Ah, there's nothing more consoling in life than a beautiful French boulangerie. The only problem is that I want to eat everything. But this is the delicious caramel brioche that I've come for. And whilst I'm here, I'll get the pastries for our bed and breakfast guests tomorrow. There, just a few yummy goodies to take home. Ian is back and you I'm really back. couldn't have timed right. it better. I don't know what it is, but you always manage to walk in to save me at exactly the point that I have a crisis on. I just step in at the right moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a hero. You're welcome. We're cooking a three course meal for five guests tonight. And we've started off with a homemade smoked mackerel pate that I made. And Ian's presented it beautifully on lovely crostini that he made. This is Ujo. Is that right? Yes. Excellent, I've been practicing. <laughs> And this is an amazing woman from Taiwan who has only been here a couple of days and is already licking this chateau into shape. <laughs> Ujjao's done a beautiful job. She has been in charge of making the rooms ready whilst we've been cooking. And she even made a fire. So our guests will be nice and snug. And I'm making a celeriac mash to go with our boeuf bourguignon. There we go, boeuf bourguignon with celeriac mash. <gasps> so hard for me. So hard, you can do it. <laughs> Again, boeuf bourguignon. Bourguignon? Yep. Oh, bourguignon, really. Yes, okay. with celeriac mash. Celeriac mash. Yes. Celeriac mash. You've got this. Okay, me. There's three. Thanks. Thank Good you. luck. <laughs> You'll be great. She's awesome. And this is Ian's <coughs> apple crumble. And I made some custard. Oh, it does look good. Is this the celebratory yeah. apple crumble dance? <laughs> <laughs> also, we've got a lot of delicious cakes, courtesy of Ujo, who cooked these yesterday. Also, we share a love of whiskey. So we've polished off the Glenfiddich. We're halfway through the Lagavulin. So luckily I'm going to Scotland next week and I will sort this out. <laughs> I'm gonna bring more whiskey back. <laughs> This kitchen runs on whiskey. And now I'm off again, leaving Lalanne to go to Scotland for my annual holiday with the elusive Nick at my friend's house. So next week, I'll see you in Scotland. Mm -hmm.